Hi, welcome to the Webster Application Server Beta VMware Image Demo. First, you go to the Webster Beta site and you'll select to download the Websphere image. We're shipping Websphere Beta as VMware images for the first time. And you just scroll down and select the download option. You have to sign into the IBM site. After you sign in, you'll see the download page, and we're shipping WebSphere in all of the uh, common platform formats that we support. And then we have the additional support for VMware as part of this beta. And we have WebSphere VMware images in ESX format, in VMware server workstation format, and also in a new OVF preliminary industry standard format. Whichever one that you select, you download the four files for the VMware format that you want, and then you'll choose to do download. And download director is set up so that it's very easy for the coordination of the download. I did time slice. It'll take a few, few seconds longer than in this demo, uh, but for uh, speedy and sake. After the download is complete, you'll just unzip the four packages. And the OVF format has an OVF file included, and that OVF file is a description of the virtual image and the disks and how much CPU and memory are required. And this is something that VMware will then read in order to import the file and not have to ask you as many questions as it usually does. So once you've unzipped the files, all you need to do is open up your virtual infrastructure client and choose virtual appliance import. You can then point that to the either the website or the directory where you unzip the files. And then you just uh, point to the OVF file that I just showed you. Once the OVF file has been selected, VMware has a wizard that will read the OVF file. So VMware automatically knows things like how much memory and CPU you want for this virtual image. So all you need to do is give it a name and tell us where you want to put it. And then VMware will go ahead and start the import. Again, I've time sliced a little bit of this out, um, but it's a, a, a reasonably quick process and it takes the uh, the disks all over to the ESX server. Once the uh, virtual disks are there, all you need to do is actually start the server, which is what you see being done here, the Webster v7 beta demo. And we're going to go ahead and start it. And we're going to take a look at the actual console while this is starting up. The first thing that gets done is the virtual machine gets powered on. You see that happening at the bottom. And then you see Linux starting up. The Webster virtual image is packaged with SUSE Linux uh, plus 10.1. And that automatically starts up. And initially, you will log in with root and password. That's the default that is set up. And then the image is going to uh, go ahead and bring up some, some YAS panels to have you accept the license and then allow you to do the operating system and WebSphere configuration. Uh, so you can choose the network configuration you want as well as input your host name and your IP addresses. So before this image ever starts up in the network, you have the opportunity to put in the addresses that you want. And then here you also have the opportunity to change the passwords that we've preset for root. And we've also pre-created a vert user user ID, which is where we installed WebSphere. So WebSphere is not installed under root. It's installed under vert user. And that's important when you go to log into this image. You want to use vert user, because that's where you'll find the custom desktop. After the operating system is configured, you have an opportunity to choose your WebSphere configuration. And we pre-configured um, Webster profiles for you. And then we give you the opportunity to change the cell name and the node name, and also choose to federate to the deployment manager and start the server. 
once you've gone through the WebSphere configuration process. And I time slice a little bit out, but this takes a just a couple of minutes. It's very quick because we've pre-created all the profiles. All you need to do is um, wait while the image starts back up again. And you sign in with Vert user and with the new password that you defined as you were configuring this. And that will start up Linux. And it will bring up for you the custom desktop. WebSphere is being started automatically in the background. So all you need to do when the image comes up is start the WebSphere admin console. And what you've seen here is probably the fastest you've uh, ever seen WebSphere come up because what we shipped with the virtual image was pre-installed and pre-configured operating system and WebSphere with just the ability to, uh, to basically reconfigure your network IDs, your passwords, and the exact uh, whether you want this to be an application server or deployment manager. And what you see here is the actual running WebSphere application version 7. And you can see that we've got all of the servers and, and everything that you would expect to see in a WebSphere environment. Uh, we hope that this uh, new format simplifies getting started with the beta.